was to see Bruce. Oh, hey, what about shoes and gown? Actually, we're not here to poll. We were wondering where you heard that dirty joke with Paul Quay. Oh, that one? Oh, no, I'm not going to tell y'all that one here at the workplace. Too dirty. Maybe after quitting time, I'll have a mimosa and tell y'all they hear. Look, you boy, just tell us who you heard it from. It turned out that Joe Paul Rich had quite a history. Bruce had heard it from Consuela. Consuela heard it from Mayor West. West heard it from Dr. Hartman. Hartman heard it from Angela. Angela from Opie. Opie from Herbert. Herbert heard it from Tom Tucker. Tucker heard it from Bender on Futurama, oddly enough for some reason. Bender heard it from Al Harrington. Harrington from REO Speedwagon. REO Speedwagon saved us several steps as they too had backtracked the joke to some extent. But when their trail had led to a bartender in Virginia, they had given up, much the way the world had given up on them. In fact, just to kick him a couple extra bucks, here's five seconds of time for me to fly. No, don't! All the money goes to my bitch ass wife! Can you play our song? Okay, lead singer from Asia. Or Virginia Peter. Bonnie and Lois plan that couples weekend to Maine. We're supposed to leave in the morning. Yeah, Peter, we've looked long enough. Making a joke doesn't have a source. Don't be stupid. Somebody had to have made it up, and we're gonna find out who. Besides, this will be way more fun than hanging out in Maine with the wives sitting around a campfire listening to Lois tell grocery stories. Oh, Peter, you should have been there. Uncle Ben's converted brown rice was on sale. He marked it down from $12 to, to three. Whatever, I, I don't know how much rice is, but you, you know what I'm saying.